Well, lots of people can relate to that certain satisfaction, that certain feeling of a freshly sharpened pencil. But as Boyd Hubert finds out in his land of 10,000 stories, for one particular nine-year-old, it's much more than that. In the digital age, bright yellow paint is the only thing keeping pencils from feeling kind of dull. But in this split-level house, pencils never stop feeling sharp. Look at that. Every day. Allison and Jeff Kaser. Every day. Yep. Our parents. Yep. Look at these. To Lucas Kaser. <laughs> whose propensity for grinding wood would impress a chainsaw-wielding beaver. I would say at least a million. What? A million pencils? Mm -hmm. This is my really first sharpener. This gift from his grandparents at five has multiplied. The teacher pro. Ah, my, my boss Dozens of sharpeners. <laughs> Fill my whole power strip. And a timer to remind now nine-year-old Lucas to give each a rest before he burns out any more motors. We always say that it might be heavy duty, but it's not Lucas duty. Because Lucas's motor never quits. At four years old, Lucas was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Then you another batch. Children with autism. Lucas was a pencil sharpener for Halloween. Often have areas of deep interest. He has a deep interest in pencils and pencil sharpening. Lucas also has thousands of Facebook followers. Pencils. Whose interest? More pencils. Is keeping him well stocked. More pencils. More pencils. More pencils. And we haven't even gotten more to the big bins. Lucas could go through those two shelves right there in a matter of 12 hours. True at home. Yep. And at Andover Elementary, where Lucas is the number two pencil, number one sharpener. He would do it all day long if I would let him. Special education teacher mm -hmm. Donna McCoskey. Let's dance. Says Lucas's brain sometimes gets overactive. And what does this help you do? Get back on the focus. To the good of all three of Andover's elementary schools. Hey, Lucas, thank you, buddy. To which Lucas has supplied freshly sharpened pencils. I'd like everybody to say thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Lucas, thank you so much for sharing your pencil sharpening skills. More appreciation in the mail from pencil recipients and donors. Pencils for Lucas. Sorry, I'm going to cry. People don't understand why he likes to sharpen pencils for hours, but they still accept him who he is. That's big. And speaking of big, check out the byproduct bucket. The pencil shavings. Gallons of shavings now being assembled. They worked really well. Into fire starters. To give them out to people and spread some awareness for autism. The conductor of a symphony of pencil sharpening instruments. Can you hear all that? Is blessed with parents. I don't think we hear it anymore, to be <laughs> honest with you. Who hear and see what's important. He's exactly who he was made to be. And if that's sharpening pencils, that's it. That's what we'll do for him. Sharp mom and dad. <laughs> Shining sun. Boyd Hubert, Care 11 News, Andover. If you'd like to follow Lucas on Facebook or learn more about his pencil project, you'll find a link with this story at care11.com. Hey, Belinda. Hi, Julie. I love that. Yes, I do. I love that as I well. I love it so much. And I love that all those teachers and students get those nice, really sharp pencils because there's nothing better. Nothing better. That's exactly right. So it's a wonderful deal all around. So thank you to Lucas.